Right campers, it's Tuesday, it's after work and it's night lake. Let's go fishing. There's a little bit of a trauma trying to decide what um, swim I was going to have but I've decided on swim six. So I'm just walking my bow around there now. So this week I'm still on the nursery bank but I've chosen swim six. Um, I'll show you why in a minute because it's proper busy here. Uh, the fish come out of six so I've got to go on it. No one's on it amazingly so we'll, uh, we'll have a look and I'll show you what's what. And it's just started to rain. <sighs> got to deal with all that yet. Yeah? So I think I'll get my bivvy up first. Right, so we're getting there slowly. That's me sorted. All I've got to do now is get my rods out. Well, I've just had another quick walk around the lake. The geese are in swim 10. It's just had a nice common. Um, trouble is there's a guy on the other side of that island um, they're going to be here for at least another hour and a half I tell you pressures are deciding which swim to use um, although I've pretty much set up in swim 6 I'm seriously having a little debate about having a move um, I'll go and see what's what around the other side with the other guy. Right, so basically what's happened is uh, the guy's going to fish in swim, swim number one, I think, over the other side. And that's kind of where that common's just come out from on the corner of the island. Um, but, so I, even if I went in an 11, or, t or 12 even, then um, It'll be there's there'll be a bit of bait out there from the guy opposite me in in swim one so i think i'm gonna stay in six um i'm gonna try and find some spots like i do every week and uh take it from there i suppose something in my bones tonight's telling me i'm uh, gonna struggle tell you what though it's a beautiful evening. I don't know if it's me or, or I'm just unlucky, but every time I fish, the wind tends to get up, start smashing me about a bit. Not quite a bit of wind coming in. Well, I'm all in. Three rods. I've got one just. Where's my finger? There. Right, so I've got one just about there. Then I've got one about there. And I thought I'd do something a little bit unusual. I've got one just down in that margin to my left. It's a little bit um, snaggy down there, but <clears throat> I had a little dig about. Um, found a clear spot, probably about I don't know, about 12 inches square. So uh, I put a little bait on that. So just down in the margin. That's a pop up that one. So uh, just in case it is lying a little bit dodgy, it's popped up well. So. And I've basically just put an handful of pellets over that. So, see how we get on with that one. Well, I reckon I must be slacking because first cup of tea and it's ten past six. So, uh, I'm going to settle down. I'm happy all rods are in. And uh, I'll um, catch up with you in a bit. 
well on my, on my own tonight because Ben has gone to his syndicate. He's got the next couple of days off because he's coming into work Friday, Saturday, which he doesn't usually do. So he's had two days off a bit earlier than scheduled and that's solely because of the bank holiday weekend. Um, so no takeaway for me tonight, but supreme. I'll be cracking that open shortly. Got some crusty rolls as well, so get that down me and enjoy. Some people think it's harder for the fish to find the baits if you're uh, not putting 20 or 30 boilies around it, but it seems to be on this one. Singles have been doing all right, so. I think if, if you're in the areas where the fish are going to patrol, they'll pick up a single. Well, fingers crossed anyway. Morning campers. It's half past five. Phone alarm's just gone off. I've made myself a brew. And there's nothing to report, sadly. No liners. What can you do? That's my second blank overnight on a snipe on a bounce which, like I say, what can you do? The biggest problem I've got is I'm trying to work out why every morning when I wake up and make my first cup of tea, it's always frothy. It's, it's bonkers. Any, any ideas, anyone? Give us a shout. It's like a frothy latte or something, you know what I mean? It's weird. Still tastes the same, but it's just frothy. I should really check my uh, kettle for slugs, I suppose. That might have something to do with it. But, like I say, quiet night. And it's pitch black out there. Last week when I was packing down, it was daylight. So we're going to have this for a couple of weeks now, I suppose. And then it'll be light in the mornings as well, so... I'm going to have my brew and start packing down, but as usual, I'm going to leave my rods in the water till last knockings, because you're never bleeding now. It's like a tea latte, still. And to top it all, it's just starting to rain. <laughs> it's like the fish gods rubbing salt in the wounds, that is. Yeah. Let your fish all night, no fish. I can cope with that. But, just when you want to pack down, I'll stop raining. Beautiful. Can you hear it? Not there. So I'm afraid it'll be another text of shame to the missus. Whenever I go fishing she always says to me, are you going to be uh, fishing tonight or camping? So I'll just uh, let her know that I camped again. It's, uh, it is it is what it is, but I do know, like I said last week's vlog, it can change in an instant. Last year on the snow, I had a bit of a tough year, but um, this year I thought I was going to be onto a flyer with uh, with that common I had early into me. Um, to be fair, I've only done this is my third overnight, so I won't be talking 30. 12, 12, 36 hours I've done so far on tonight in, in total uh, with the result of 122 free common so you know it, it's law of averages just make myself another bro um, if I was here for 24 hours at a time it gives you a little bit more time to watch the lake and that but 
couple of hours of daylight in the evening that I get, all you can do is watch the water and last night there was nothing. And then the rest of my sessions just mainly in darkness so it's uh it does seem like hard work but I know that the rewards in this lake are, are worth the wait. So just gonna be patient. See, second cup of tea, not frothy. How's that work? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit on my hands this season and not change anything. Just keep on. And then the fish gods will start smiling down on me, I'm sure. If this is the last um, bit of my vlog I do this week, then don't forget, um, subscribe back and um, hopefully we'll see each other again next week when my luck might change it will change it will change so, um, keep watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one cheers guys